What's up everyone, Dapplade here with a Hunter's Guide to Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. In this video, I'm going to be going over the unique skills found on the Chaotic Gormagala armor set. The Chaotic Gormagala armor set is different depending if you're male or female. If you're male, it's called the Chaotic armor set, and if you're female, it's called the Nephilim set. But pretty much is exactly the same, except for in name and appearance. In terms of skills, they are exactly the same regardless of gender. Now the two armor skills we'll be covering in this video are the Strife armor skill and the Berserk armor skill. Currently these two armor skills are not found on any other form of armor, decoration or Krios crafting. That may change in the future, but for now you can only get these skills by using the Chaotic Gormagala armor sets. So what do these skills do? Well first of all the Strife skill. Now on paper the Strife skill basically increases your elemental attack and affinity in proportion to the length of the red health gauge on your health bar. This effect is increased even more when you have a red health bar of 60% or more. So basically the way it works is when your health bar has a red portion of it, say you've taken a hit or you have other skills that drain your health slowly but leave red health on your health bar, then strife will take effect. Now this skill can go up to level 3. At level 1 it increases your elemental attack power by 5% and affinity by 5% at 60% red health or more that bonus is increased to 10% at level 2 your elemental attack and affinity are increased by 10% and once again at 60% red health or more this bonus is increased to 15% and then finally when you have strife at level 3 your elemental attack increase is 15% and your affinity is 10% once again once your red health reaches that 60% mark or above that bonus is increased to 20% elemental attack power increase and 20% affinity. But there is another additional effect at level 3 that some weapons are definitely going to enjoy. And that is when you have that 60% red health or more on your health bar, then you'll also receive infinite stamina. So dual blades, bow users, insect glaive users, they're going to synergize really well with strife at level 3. It is pretty straightforward, although it is a risky skill, but that is the payoff. You get a massive increase in your DPS, but it puts your hunter at risk of fainting potentially. Skills that synergize well with Strife include Dereliction, Bloodlust, and especially Berserk, which we'll talk about now. Now Berserk is another skill found on the Chaotic Gormagala armor set and can go up to level 2. Basically Berserk is a skill that activates when you switch to your blue switch skill scroll. When this happens, your entire vitality, your health bar, will turn red. This at first looks very risky, but it is quite useful. Now whilst you're equipped with the blue scroll and you have that massive red health bar, you'll notice that it starts decreasing over time. Berserk at level 2 basically just reduces the gradual health depletion of the skill. This will tick away until your health reaches zero, you heal, or switch back to the red scroll. There is also another side effect to this health depletion, as when you take a hit from a monster, depending on the strength of that hit, the health drain will increase. By taking a light hit, it will drain at 1.5 times faster, a moderate hit will cause it to decrease twice as fast, and taking a massive hit will cause it to drain four times as fast. Now you may be thinking, okay, if I take a hit, won't this actually cause my health to deplete anyway? Well, not so. With Berserk, basically should you take a hit from a monster, you won't feel the effects of it at all and you cannot faint so long as you have red health. Whilst yes, you can still die whilst using this skill, taking a hit basically just increases how deadly the health drain is rather than fainting outright. So whilst Berserk does provide you a unique mechanic that is also quite good when it comes to survival, it isn't without risks. That times 4 health drain for taking a massive hit from a monster can potentially cause you to faint, especially if you end up getting stunned or something in the process. So even though it seems powerful, you still have to be cautious at times. Now there are ways around this, for example you can pair it with different skills that help increase or recover our health. For example using a gourmet fish will help our health recovery, you can use the dango super recovery as well, which helps increase our health when a monster isn't paying attention to us. Recovery up may be a skill you want to consider as well, although it's a high investment as this increases how much health you get back through healing mechanics. You also have the Kushala Blessing at level 3 which also helps recover our health but only applies to the green portion, not the red portion. So it helps recovery when we switch back to the red scroll. And you can also make use of skills like Bloodbright, 
which gets our health back when we're attacking broken monster body parts. This is what I personally like to use. Of course, Blood Blight as well from afflicted monsters will also help us recover health, but this doesn't apply to normal hunts. Finally, of course, the easiest way to counter the health drain from Berserk is to use health potions or your buddies with healing items, such as the Clover Bats, which almost completely counteract the health drain even at its highest level when using Berserk. But at the end of the day, the easiest way to counter the health drain is to simply switch back to the red scroll, heal up whilst you're equipped with the red scroll before going back to the blue scroll. This should help counteract any modified health drain and leave you with the basic slower health drain, which is easier to manage. But be aware, when you switch back to the red scroll, make sure you do it at a safe opportunity because you will only have a small amount of green health and should you take a hit from a monster, you'll probably faint. Be aware when it comes to Berserk that when you're using other health drain skills such as Dereliction or Bloodlust, this can also leave you at risk. So keep that in mind. But when it comes to these skills, they synergize really well with one another. That's why they are both found on the Chaotic Gorbagala armor set. Whilst Berserk in its own right is an exceedingly strong and powerful skill, it gives you an almost new playstyle with a unique way of defending yourself. And Strife is an excellent DPS skill for elemental builds or stamina reliant builds. The two synergize really well, activating Berserk basically gives you the full effects of Strife straight away. And should your health fall below that 60% red health or more, then you can switch out of Berserk mode, heal up, and then rinse and repeat. The other good aspect about the Chaotic Gormagala armor set when it comes to the Berserk and Strife skill is that they're all found on different pieces of the armor. Strife is found on the helm, chest and waist, whilst Berserk is found on the gloves and boots. So it means that you don't always have to use both of them in a build if you don't want to. For example, you could use Strife combined with armor pieces that have Dereliction on instead of Berserk if you would prefer that. Or you could use Berserk on its own combined with other armor pieces if you're using a non-elemental weapon or you don't care about the Strife bonuses like the infinite stamina. The main downside of Berserk and Strife is that unfortunately you have to manage your health a little bit more than you would with say normal traditional builds. Having to constantly keep an eye on your health, see how bad the health drain is on your health bar whilst at the same time trying to fight a monster could be a little tricky at times and that may put some people off. But there is a lot of variety here and I really do enjoy these skills. Whilst they do kind of change your playstyle and that won't be for everyone, they are fun and give you a little bit of variety when it comes to different builds and playstyles out there. But what are your thoughts? Are you enjoying these armor skills? Please leave a comment down below and until next time, I've been Darkblade, bringing you another Hunter's Guide to the Berserk and Strife skill in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.